This is what he left under the, the video. He said, never, ever lose weight to attract women. You should lose weight for your physical and mental health. And I told him the first time, I said, I disagree. He said, prioritizing being attractive to women has been the downfall of American black men since the 1970s. I don't know how, but it is what it is. Physical health is important as an overall aspect of developing the mental and physical strength to become leaders, which should be the primary focus of black men. And I told him again, I disagree 100%. So let me ask y'all a question. And I, and I know that I have kind of a little advantage because I have my platform. And if you guys agree with him, that's perfectly fine. But I'm going to tell y'all this. The way that I speak to you guys about getting in shape is liked compared to how I used to speak to people when I was a personal trainer. If there was anybody stationed with me in Korea in 2010, they will tell you that I had about 100 people scared to go to the food court because if they got caught, I was going to make them go through hell when they got back to the gym. Because people around that I trained, they would tell on people. They would say, hey, I caught Lamar in the food court at Baskin Robbins. They would tell me. And I would never tell them who told me. But I would make their asses pay for it once I got them back into the fucking gym. So you guys are privileged. Because the way I talk to you guys is light. In the response to this comment, I don't give a damn what it takes for your ass to get into the gym. Get your ass in the gym. And the ultimate goal or the end result is you becoming healthy and in shape. Do you really think that I'm going to sit there at a man that's telling me, hey, man, this woman just kicked me in the chest in the form of a breakup. Now I want to get back in the gym and show her. Do you really think I'm going to? No, brother. I don't want you to take that mindset into the gym so you can get healthy and get in shape. No, I'm going to tell him to use that fucking rage and get your ass in the gym. I don't give a damn what the reason is. That may be different from the people that y'all talk to. Hate motivates because I'm a perfect example of that. I, I thrive when people tell me I can't do something. That's military culture. They don't give a damn about what you did last year. They care about what you're doing right now and moving forward. So when I hear people talk about this shit saying that, hey, you shouldn't get in shape because of a woman. I don't care what it I don't care what it is. I don't. Because the end goal is positive. And it's the same thing that women do. Don't y'all complain about women who are married, got out of shape, but then when they get divorced, then they decide to get back in shape. And you ask yourselves, why didn't you do that for your husband? Because she was comfortable, she didn't have no motivation. Now her ass back out there wearing heels and shit and in the gym five times a week so she can get back out there so she she can get a better result. I don't give a damn if men do the same thing. And like I said, I don't care. If I wanted to, I could turn this channel into a fitness channel because I have so much to say about this topic because people try and use excuses of saying that, hey, you shouldn't do this. Obviously, the person ain't in the gym already. So maybe it does take a woman to cheat on your ass so you can understand that you need to get your ass in the gym and stop being a fat ass. Get up. And stop sitting there trying to use this. You shouldn't use women. No, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I don't. I get tired of this damn defeatist mindset. You're not doing anything already. This motherfuckers, man. You, you should, it's, it's pointless. It's, it's already, I showed y'all the statistics. Damn near, what, 70% of folks ain't even in shape. And you're going to sit there and try and discredit somebody to go into the gym by using hate or using a breakup or trying to get more, be more attractive to women. Why is that a negative? Somebody tell me, why is that a negative? Because again, the end goal is you being in shape. You really think you're going to become uh jacked and juicy. You know what I'm saying? After going to the gym for a year straight and you swelled and swole up and you're going to sit there and look at yourself in the mirror you know what? I I should stop this because I got these gains based off of hate. 
So I'm going to just go back to being a fat ass slob because I used the wrong motivation to go to the gym for six days a week, diet and get myself in shape. What kind of sense does that make? No, I'm going to lean into it. So like I told you guys, if I wanted to be as direct as I was when I was a personal trainer, y'all would probably hate me, but you would hate me looking like, you know what I'm saying? The, the next version of Arnold Schwarzenegger or Phil Heath. Because I used to push the people that I trained that hard. Sometimes I would actually walk off if I seen them doing a, a movement wrong. I would stop counting. One, two. Because they're doing the shit wrong. If I seen the weights clank and you're not controlling the weight, I don't count that rep. I used to be a beast as a personal trainer. Anybody that I ever trained, they'd tell you the same thing. I still get people telling me that, hey, man, I need you back. You know what I'm saying? Station with me. I will get in shape. I'll be in the best shape ever. I've had uh, damn near all of my friends who I consider brothers tell me the same thing because they used to see how, you know, important fitness was when I was there and they was in the gym five, six days a week. I don't play, man. Because that's in your control. And I don't give a damn about this, this six feet shit. Y'all using this as a crutch in order to stay where you are, to not get the results that you want. Oh man, if, if you know I if I get if I get with a girl and she see a dude that's over six feet, she gonna leave my ass. Really? What are you bringing to the table? To sound like we, we say to women, y'all at this defeatist mindset, man, and it pisses me off. God dog. Y'all, like I said, man, y'all lucky. <laughs> you are absolutely lucky.